It is almost a year now since the massive Las Conchas fire broke out in the mountains near Los Alamos. The U.S. Forest Service has just opened the burn area to the public. But be warned, the fire may be out, but News 13's Tim Maestas reports it is still a danger zone. For weeks, we watched it burn this time last year. Sky-high flames devouring more than 150,000 acres in the Hemis Mountains and dozens of homes by the time it was finally over. It burned fast and it burned hot. For the first time, we get to see the aftermath up close. The U.S. Forest Service just opened up a total of nine forest roads, giving the public access to a large part of the Las Conchas fire burn area. This is one of the more intense intensely burned areas. Cars have to stay on those nine forest roads, but... For foot travel, the entire district is open. This week, we got a look at thousands of acres in the Hemis Ranger District in and around the Bandeleur National Monument. Much of the area looks like a wasteland, but then there are signs the forest is bouncing back. Green grass, small bushes, trees, and wildflowers are sprouting up on the forest floor. Still, it's a much different scene compared to just a year ago. Just no, no comment to it. It's just it's sad. Joseph Adagon lives near the burn area. Because the area has been closed for so long, until now he could only see the damage from a distance. They're warning people that there are still some dangers in this area. Are you mindful of that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Forest Service has done what it can so far to make this area as safe as possible for the public. Cutting down trees along the roadways, for example, to make sure none of these trees fall on any passing cars. But still, there are plenty of dangers out here. Burned up tree roots have made parts of the ground very weak, making it very easy to fall right through. Watch out for some of these areas, particularly around the trees. Unstable ground, loose rocks, falling trees, and even flash floods. The upcoming monsoon season could mean trouble too. Remember the flash flooding we saw in the area last year? We can expect to see the same thing this summer. Just look out around you and you can just see that there's not a whole lot yet to you know, keep the water in place. For now, only so much can be done to help the area heal. Much of the work to rebuild the forest falls on the shoulders of Mother Nature, and that will take a long time. In the meantime, the Forest Service is doing what it can. And as more roads are assessed, the Forest Service will open additional roads. You know, all of the current employees at the, at the Hamans District say, well, you know, we'll never see this forest totally recover to a way it was pre-fire. In your lifetime. Oh, yeah. Tim Maestas, KRQE News 13.